Well, hello, Virgo. Welcome back to House of Virgo. This is Kelly. <clears throat> Dropping cards here. So, um, how you doing? How you doing, guys? Yes, I'm in an extra good mood today. Um, yeah, so if you're new, welcome to my channel. Click that like and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. You can also become a member of my channel, $2.99 per month. And um, I am doing personal readings through text for the summer. So go ahead and click the link in the description box below. And let's get into this reading, okay? So look, you're meeting someone new. There's a date. You're dating. You're getting back out there, planning, setting a date. This is the self-love, passion, affection, attraction, unconditional love, oneness, and heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. Perfect. Oh my God, this reading. Finally, something that's really speaking, right? Look at this. I love it. This is this is how this is going to be. So we're going into the month of July. This is the energy. Okay. Let's take a look and see. So Virgo, looks like you're getting back up on the horse. Some of you, or you are just continuing with your dating life. I feel like you're going to connect with someone. You're going to meet someone, perhaps the one. Um, like I said, maybe you're getting back out there, planning, setting dates, um, meeting somebody new. This is good. This is good. And I know because I see it in your comments. I don't want the past back. I want somebody new. And I, I always say, if you want somebody new, don't come here trying to get it for me because I, I am not a, I, I don't have men on like the conveyor belt here that I'm just doling them out. This is, you got to take some action. Okay, so if you're that Virgo who's listening to this reading and you're like, you know, I haven't met anybody, blah, 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 and I always say, well, you know, Santa's not going to bring you somebody. Your person's not just going to drop from the sky and just land in front of you on your couch when you're not doing anything. This is about being proactive. So if you've been proactive in your dating life, looks like somebody's coming in. If you have been even semi-proactive you're attracting someone okay and yeah this is great july looks like the time for love right page of cups so there's some communication coming in maybe you're you know online dating which oh well i'm not going to give my opinion about that but because i know for some it works but for others it's really just a predator's playground and i say more for the ladies because i think the ladies got to be careful with that you know you don't want to get into any kind of tinder weirdness right so anyway page of cups there you go a new love maybe someone that you work with or someone that you uh do some volunteer work with it could be um you might meet someone through some some kids maybe you're in a school teaching um, could be somebody at, like at your, your job, like I said, or you work around children or you have like, they're just giving me an image of like a play date or connecting and meeting another parent or grandparent. Very sweet. All right, let's take a look. This looks great for you. All right, Virgo. Mm, yeah, some of you going to pick up some lumber for some kind of job you're doing. <laughs> Working on the house, doing something um, outside. There could be somebody here who works outside or they have like a physical type of a laborer. Or if there's, could be someone who, it's someone who's carrying something pretty heavy, you know, hard work. Oh my gosh, got the Ace of Cups, beautiful. So yeah, so they could be um, someone who's carrying something heavy. Maybe it's someone at a gym lifting weights uh it's it's work it's laborious it could be working out or working okay something to do with working or or something when uh, i'm trying to give you like care i'm see, carrying some plants is what i'm picking up here <laughs> you're getting asked out or you're asking somebody out okay ace of cups here we go a proposal a new relationship starting off with somebody new this is fantastic yeah, okay. Hmm. 
Okay. Why is the Nine of Swords here? What's going on? Why is this... Oh. Okay, wait. Now, there's definitely a little bit of... Um... Oh. It doesn't feel good. Um, anxiety. Just anxiety. Maybe it's... Oh, okay. It's the King of Wands showing up here. Masculine or feminine. Um... Do you know who this is? This person... So whether you know them or you don't, this person is showing up here definitely with a bit of like... Nervous. That's it. That's what I'm hearing. Nervous to approach or to ask you out. They're gonna do it, but they're nervous. Yes, okay. But this person, like, I'm telling you, this you're meeting the one here. Get, this person is definitely gonna reach out and ask you to go on some kind of date or meet up or something. I, I don't know really why the King of Wands would be nervous because the King of Wands is pretty alpha. Even if they're, um, whether masculine or feminine, the King of Wands is like, a, like they're very high in confidence. They're, they're very much, they're bold leader types, you know, um, very charming and courageous. It's, it's odd that they are a little nervous to ask you out. And I want to know here i think i do know but let's get some clarity because i feel like maybe you intimidate this person a little bit but the king of wands fire signs are not going to just shy away from that they'll be a little bit nervous but they overcome it but let me just take a look at you oh you've got the four of swords oh yeah because you virgo are <laughs> way more confident than this person <laughs> You're quietly confident. That's how they see you. They can't, like, they're not going to be able to, to kind of figure you out, which can be a Virgo thing. Sometimes Virgos can be so quiet that they, other people become intimidated, but they're not really just trying to be that way. A lot of Virgos are quiet because they do suffer from some kind of neurosis or they're insecure, like, within their hearts, you know, um, but they, Virgos do tend to come off as very confident on the outside, but not like... Not like in the fire sign area. Not like um, arrogant or anything. It's it's this quiet confidence this person sees in you. Which will make them a little bit, uh, you know, <laughs> a little nervous. A little like, uh-oh, you know. Um, also, too, I'm hearing this person's energy is going to be like, I'm feeling part of that nervousness is assuming that you would already have somebody. Or you would, how could you not? How could you be single? Apart from all of that, okay? Apart from all of that, there's definitely, like, they're going to go for it, okay? This person's going to, they're going to ask you out, okay? And this is going to be, this is, this is going to be your person, all right? So, yeah, King of Wands shows up Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Now I know some of you, I could just see you in the chat there, well, my last fire sign was horrific, and I'm never going again with a fire sign. Well, understand something, okay? Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, okay? Not every sign is exactly the same. There's a lot that goes into that, right, Virgo? There's your planet placements, the temperament, your personality, uh, environment, the way you grew up, you know? Um, so I feel like... And it, this may not be their sun sign. It could, it could be their sun, their moon, their rising, and Venus. But they come across with this energy as, despite it all, courageous, courageous. All right. So that's how they're that's how they're viewing you before they approach. There will be this energy of like, oh, you know, they're a bit taken back by you. Let's take a look. I want to ask when they approach you. If you say yes, accept the date, how that will go with you and this person. Oh, wow. Death card. Beautiful. It'll be transformative. All right. Let's see. Oh, wow. A lot of crush energy here between you and this person. I feel like whatever this, the energy with between you and this person, when they come forward, if you accept a date and go out with them and start dating them, I could tell you right now, it's going to move quick and there's going to be a lot of, um, 
direct positivity with this person and a tremendous amount of like love. And I don't feel like it's love bombing. <laughs> okay, it's not a bomb. But it's a lot of um it's not love bombing with the intention to hurt you. It's it's I feel like this person's gonna be crazy into you. And and you know what, Virgo, I feel like the transformation part is that it's going to be so positive and refreshing to connect with um, a new person here that is going to kind of like with the death card. Uh, they're giving me the phrase. How does it go? How are they saying it? Um, make you forget about your past is what I'm hearing. Your past hurts, your past failures, things that didn't work out with other people. It's like it all just kind of flushes it all away with this, with the energy from this person. And I love that because I feel like for some of you, this is going to come across as like a brand new start, something brand new, uh, something new to look forward to in the love area. Okay. In your romance, the romance department refreshing and some of you maybe you need that you know maybe you are healing from someone that you were from or with before an emperor energy or um yeah perhaps an ex or um yeah this is just so transforming and and fresh and new and exciting that's the energy with this eight of wands it feels very exciting so uh, July, I feel like July will be significant. This person might be um, a Leo. Yeah, right when I said that, the strength card popped out. Okay. Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. Let me see. So I feel like things are going to move right along. And if you say yes to this person coming, th coming forward to go on this date, I really do feel like... It's almost as if like your past, like you put it to rest with the death card. You're just done. Big changes and ending. This is moving on to something new. Rebirth, rebirthing your, like your heart awakens. Your heart comes alive with the energy of this person. Let's take a look a little more at the energy of this person coming in. All right, so... Yeah, this person ha is, I feel like they have a very alpha way about them, even even in the feminine. Very assertive. They're a go-getter. They, um, they don't play games. They're not insecure. They don't um, keep you hanging. This person, but they're not, I, I don't get a sense that this person is overly um, like my way or the highway. I don't feel it's like toxic alpha <laughs> behavior. You know, it's just this person is confident and I don't feel like there will be any doubt. It's world, they're world changing, in other words. Like this, the energy I, f I feel with this person is they have this way of like, like new beginning, new chapter, you know. I, and I'm mostly hearing any past relationship that they've had, they walk, they're, they're not someone who stays stuck. They don't harbor this lost love from 20 30 years ago that they still can't get over no they they are the type of person where they, they take one look back and they're just like eh, i'm out moved on they don't they don't hold that energy i feel like this person is a very committed type of a person you know they have morals they have standards they live by they have boundaries. They live by a certain type of a code. They're, so if someone lives by a particular standard with boundaries and morals, um, then they will expect that type of energy in return. Okay? Um, and they won't... I don't feel like this person is someone who goes outside of those, those boundaries. You know? It's not like a strictness with the Hierophant but it's they're just traditional and conventional and they have that type of expectation from the person that they're with so they don't take people who are flaky they're not interested in people who can't communicate they're not interested in in anyone who um is unable to show up for them 
because they expect that in return because that's how they are okay that's how i feel with this the way this person's energy is so if that sounds like something you're interested in from another person um this is definitely the one for you okay meeting the one if this is like nah i'm if you're that virgo it's like nah i'm looking for a flake i'm looking for someone that doesn't call i'm looking for someone that doesn't text back in a timely fashion i'm looking for someone that keeps their options open and just wants to go with the flow if you're that virgo hey more power to you but i don't think you're that virgo I don't think any male or female Virgo, masculine or feminine, is ever interested in that kind of thing. But I could be wrong. Hey, like I always say, some of you are in different places in your lives and you don't want a commitment. <clears throat> Excuse me, for whatever reason. If that's your thing, this is not your reading. Because I feel like this is someone who wants that all the way. That full, full commitment, you know. They might even have some type of religious background that influences their beliefs and their traditional behaviors and what they want, marriage and that kind of thing. All right, anything else that Virgo needs to know? Okay, so now see, I like this. They're also patient. They're also patient. This is not a person who's going to rush into anything with you. Okay, um, I mean, yeah, there'll be a lot of like dates and a lot of... Um, maybe some trips and stuff like that, but they're patient. So that when someone's patient with you, it it gives the vibe that they're respectful of your your pace and what you need and what you're looking for, or what you want, right? Open, totally open to communication. So, you know, if if you're that Virgo who's not the one to rush into a relationship and you want to take it a little bit slow, I feel like this person, you know, they'll be like, all right, tell me what's up. What do you need? You tell them, and they'll say, okay, I can do that. I see your point of view. I can see it from your angle. I can. I understand that, and um, I'm, I'm fine with going slow as long as we're going. So, you know, that's a beautiful thing, Virgo. It looks very positive. I feel like I'm going to get some features. We're going to get some features on this cat. Yes, Virgo, we're going to get some features to see what, how this person, like, kind of what they look like. Let's see if I can find all my features cards and see what shows up here. What things you may recognize about them. All right. Now, it may not be all one and the same. It could just be a few. So I'm going to throw a few out here so you'll know. For some of you, I'm going to say this person is going to show up with red hair. Or uh, reddish. No, pretty red. They might have like that dyed red, crazy red, hot, fiery red hair, or just like natural red hair. What else? Okay. All right. For some of you, we're going to show up with very wavy hair. Okay. Wavy. Not super curly. Wavy. For others, average height. For others, there's your red hair. Okay. For others, there may be some tattoos on this person. Could be a sleeve, or they could be a fully tattooed, or maybe just one. Could be tiny. All right, let's see. For others, you may recognize this person. They wear glasses. Okay. What else here? And for some, they have freckles. You'll notice them by their freckles. And for others, this person may have no hair. Okay, they might have uh, no hair or they might have very thin hair, all right, thinned out hair, which is fine. Okay, one more for Virgo and then we have blue eyes, all right, a couple of features there, note that down for yourself, let's see what else you need to know about this person, how will things go? Future wise, so I kind of feel like they're giving me this song right now. Oh boy. Summer loving had me a blast. I met a girl crazy for me. Oh, however it goes, right? From Greece, right? This feels like a summer, beautiful summer. I, I don't want to say fling or love affair, but I feel like you're going to have a really good summer. That's what I feel like is going on here. Yes. Um, 
I met a boy crazy for me. Met a girl cute as can be. Okay. I love that song. Oh my god. Poor Olivia Newton John. I'm so sad that she passed away. So sad. Grease was my favorite. Anyway, let's take a look. All right. So, Ten of Swords is here. Virgo, like, I feel like for you, right? That's what we're looking at. <laughs> Virgo, Virgo, you're always gonna weigh your, you're always gonna weigh it out, Virgo. You know you are, you know you are. You know you're gonna be cautious. Not many Virgos are spontaneous. You're not gonna be spontaneous. You're gonna be like, all right, if I surrender to this, this person pursuing me or showing interest in me, um, let's see, what, what's how's it gonna look, right? If I surrender to this, right? You're going to weigh it out. Should I or shouldn't? What will I get out of it? What will the benefit be? Will I be on another emotional roller coaster with someone up and down, like the ships on the water up and down? I don't want that. Will it be stable? Yeah. So Virgo, of course, you're going to weigh it out. You're going to take some time to think about it. You, you know, you, you're going to look at your, do you let go of the past person, obviously, or even in your mind, do you give up? I mean, don't overthink it, Virgo. You know, um, I feel like this person is going to be assertive. And I feel just this need to tell you, and I know it's not for everybody, but I feel the need to tell you, like, have a good summer, Virgo. Have a good summer. Have fun. Enjoy your life. I say this all the time. And I know not everybody is a believer. But I don't believe that you that God put you on this planet to be unhappy. I don't. You were put here to be joyous, happy, and free. Do you know what I mean? You weren't put here to be sad. You weren't put here to suffer. So, oh, they're giving me now another song. And I'm not going to sing it because nobody... <laughs> they're giving me this... Uh, I forget the name of them. With Arms Wide Open. It's from the 90s, right? Scott Stapp? I can't remember the name of the band. They just... He just gave you that song with arms. What I don't, I don't know. I think that's about a, his child or something. I don't even know. I can't remember. But Virgo, be happy. Find your find your happy place, Virgo. And if you're in your happy place, great. Let someone come in and enjoy that with you. Okay. Yeah. Look, matching the energy, Virgo. Match the energy. Look, this is the one. This is your match, right? You don't have to be a fire sign to be a match with this person. But I do feel like their energy, their active, positive energy is going to be a good rub off on you for the summer. If you if you are that Virgo that really just needs that adventure and that fun and you're looking for someone to just love and be loving on you and someone like look, look at the glow this person will give you. Okay, look at the glow. You could be on the cusp of Leo and Virgo, and this person might activate your Leo side, but they might activate that the Leo that's in you because everybody has Leo in their chart somewhere. Everyone, all of us, every single, every single one of you, based on um, one of the planets being in Leo for the past, I don't know, 100 years or something, your Leo side, your Aries side even your Sag side will be activated and and that's wands that's your creativity that's feeling inspired um getting out there and celebrating um overcoming challenges that's the sport this is summertime right and I know some of you are in winter okay but in the summer hemisphere up in the north it's time of warmth time of vitality glowing that glowing joy, your intuition. You know, I say this all the time. The right person that comes into your life is going to increase your credit score every single time. When the right person is in your life, watch your credit score, score will shoot through the roof. But when you're with the wrong person, trust me when I tell you, your credit score is going to go to shit. Just, just take a look at that and give me a thumbs up if you agree. When you're with the right person, your life is better tenfold. Everything is better. The trees are greener. The sky is bluer. 
The weather is always nice, even when it's a tornado passing by your house. Everything is better. Your credit score increases. Your money multiplies. Your friendships, people around you notice your glow when you're with the right person. When you're with the wrong person, especially if you're trying to turn them into the right person, you're going to be in survival mode, trying to keep your head above water. And you need to ask yourself, are you this person? with the person you're currently with are you glowing do you feel inspired because if you're not you need to take a look at that and ask yourself what am i doing the right person is going to make sure that you're always okay they're not going to go out there and do everything for you unless you want them to but there's support look at how this king of wands Masculine or feminine is looking at the queen of wands. Masculine or feminine. Focusing on you while you're looking out how to achieve your dreams and your goals. Yeah, it's a match. It's a match. For all we know, this king of wands or this fire sign that shows up here, they could be a Pisces, right? They could be a Taurus. But the energy is fire. So keep that in mind. You'll know them by their confidence. You'll know them by their self-assuredness. You'll know them by their power, the way they present themselves, hold themselves, their courage, the way they get through life courageously, and their charm. I love this reading today. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to turn you into an empress or an emperor. Yep. That relationship, this person, I feel like is mostly about you. This is someone who's going to take you from being in a queen or a king position up into the highest of the high. Make you feel like you're more than just a queen or a king. It's a beautiful energy. It's a beautiful energy. That's something... Even for some of you, a little bit of an ego boost. Hey, look, look, if you're coming out of a, a horrific relationship or you've been in one, this is going to be very refreshing. And so I feel like the message overall here is for you to let go. The season's already begun. Put the past behind you. Anything negative, put it behind you. And open yourself up to this these fresh fields. <laughs> fresh fields of sunflowers. Open yourself up. Get some sunflowers to remind you you're on a new path this summer. You don't have to you don't have to look at this like, oh, it's the whole rest of my life. No, just like like go have fun. Go enjoy your 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 the next three months is what I want you to do. July, August, and September. Because you know, two of those months is gonna be your birthday. All right, what else does Virgo need to know here? Look at that. In your favor, listen, Wheel of Fortune here. This is good luck. This, this is change. The wheels are put in motion. The movement is going to happen. It's happening. It's already happening. You might not even be feeling it already. This is good luck. This is a turning point. You're at a turning point now. Allow the wheel to move. That wheel, for some of you, you've had that wheel right here stuck in mud and just you've been spinning your wheels going nowhere getting nowhere let the mud dry and then hit the gas and go okay mm -mm -mm. great this is awesome let's see what your messages of love are showing up here if you notice the guys i'm making this reading a little bit longer than usual okay here we go. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Letting go of something that you've been in that's not working could be just letting go of past ideas, letting go of past thoughts, past actions, past people, those past negative emotions, or even other emotions. Maybe you had positive emotions that were actually put onto the wrong person right letting it all go and and that's opening up here you also have passion trying something you've never done before for some of you this is the release for some of you this is something you've never done before having that radical acceptance and surrender 
to let go. Some of you are just like, what? What's this? This is like e, e M C squared, whatever. What is this? I don't understand this algebraic equation. Listen to me. For some of you, this is all it is that you just need to try letting go for the first time. Okay, so Yosef, you, but apart from that, you've got passion here. And you've got something doing some summer adventures beginning now. Um Things that you've never done before, allowing someone to take you on a journey, on an adventure. Lovely. There you go. This is it. This is a soulmate. This isn't a toxic twin flame BS or a karmic BS. This is a soulmate connection. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. This is this is it. You're connecting with your soulmate. Could be a Virgo, Virgo, you know, whatever it is, it's a match here. This is your match and it's new. This is not your person's finally waking up. Listen, don't fall for the okie doke. People come in who the way they are. The way someone comes in, that's who they are. If you're waiting for someone to have some kind of radical shift and radical change in their life so that they finally give in to you, you're going to be waiting a lifetime. Even if, because there's, if you feel like you've been a placeholder with someone for a really long time, because they're not pushing, the, they're not moving the needle forward, they don't know how to move the needle forward, they, they don't want to move the needle forward, or someone that's in and out of your life, or an off and on kind of relationship, a situationship, whatever you've been in, that's not for you, and you know it. But you might be just kind of hoping, well, let me just give them all my empathy and my kindness. You can do that until you're blue in the face. But if someone is not motivated, capable, and willing to move that needle forward, that's not your person. So deal with your feelings, cry it out, let it go, and move on. It's very simple. A lot of people say, well, I don't know how to do that. I just told you how to do that. First, you got to stop doing what you're doing. Then you got to go through the grief. You got to start accepting yourself and say you gave it your all, gave it your best shot. And if you feel like you have, and if you feel like they have, and it's not working out, you're not compatible, then you just make up your mind to move on. Okay? Just like you're driving down the road, you make up your mind. You're going to pass the car in front of you. You're not going to do it staying behind them. You got to hit the gas, put on your blinker, Get into the next lane and pass them and keep moving forward. You got to make that decision. And whatever will be, will be. You know? All right, let's take a look at this king or queen coming in. I want to see what their Chinese sign, yours and or theirs. Okay. They could be, or you could be. We have year of the horse. Year of the snake. Now, let me just say, tell you something. If you know the year that you were born, and I I want to just put this out here. You know, not everything is science, you know, like science. Science is constantly evolving and changing. But if there's one thing I will say, your Chinese signs, they're, they're pretty accurate. Look up your Chinese sign if you know what you are and see who you're best compatible with what other Chinese sign because any other sign that you're not romantically compatible with you're gonna have struggle and it's gonna take a lot of work sometimes you're better off just friends but definitely check your Chinese sign put in your year of birth and your month and your date look up your Chinese sign and see who you're compatible with I can't tell you here because I don't know you know I'm speaking to a whole bunch of you but see who you're compatible with like, for example, I'm a year of the rooster. I am most compatible with snake, dragon, and I think monkey, maybe. That might be like an if, but definitely snake and a dragon. So definitely check it out. Um, all right, there's a year of the monkey. Year of the rabbit. Year of the tiger. Year of the rat. Year of the goat. I am not compatible with goats. I can tell you that. Too sheepish for me. 
No offense to anybody here who's a goat. I mean, romantically. All right, let's take a look at your cosmic insight messages. Okay, you got you got a spy Virgo. Someone's got their eye on you. You are doing your research, perhaps. Yes, but someone's got their eye on you. Could be a guardian angel or someone watching over you, right? And maybe for some of you it is your guardian angel or someone that's passed, a loved one who's watching out for you. Maybe you're praying to them. Please bring me, bring me, this, bring me the person that's for me. Not Mr. or Mrs. Wright, but Mr. or Mrs. Wright for me, right? You might be asking that. Maybe you're looking around as well, right? Well, you do have a guardian angel, someone watching over you. Patience, just a few more months. Good things come to those who wait. Well, what does that mean? I mean, we were talking about patience here. <clears throat> this might actually... Hmm, I'm getting this message, not might. They're saying... I feel like you're going to be in a committed full-on relationship before the end of this year. If you go back to my 2024 yearly reading that I have on my channel here, I go month by month. I saw that and I did that reading in December of 2023. So I, I see you're going to be before this year's up in a committed, healthy, good, 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 good type of a relationship. Patience, right? I know you've been waiting. It's going to come. Keep your head up. All right. So, do you have confession? Do you feel like someone's going to tell you something? Someone has... What the heck's that noise? Someone has to tell you something. So there's a confession. Somebody's going to be whispering something in your ear. Oh, what is this? Oh. Now, I don't feel like... I feel like this might be a friend. Um, somebody's going to confess to you. Maybe a friend that they want a divorce from their partner. Or that they're breaking up in July. I don't feel like this is related to this reading. This just kind of came out of left field here. Yeah, I feel like it's a friend or, or someone that you're close with. It could be a water sign. It could be an earth sign. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or, or it could be these two people. Not... Uh, it could be these two people who are splitting up. Yeah. I'm moving on from this relationship. Okay, well, let's get out of that energy because now I feel like I'm getting into somebody else's business. That's not your business. I mean, that's not my business. All right, what do we want to get into here? Let's take a look at your career a little bit or see if there's anything else showing up here with your money and your career just to add a little, you know, well-rounded reading here for you guys. Okay. All right, answers. You will re you will resolve your current situation soon, work-wise. You find unique ways to stand out. You find a new opening with job security. All right, so if you're in some kind of a situation, interestingly enough, that card right there, it says love. Hmm. I can't read it because it's too small. And I don't have enough light. Let me see if I can read what it says. Hold on. That's interesting because they're giving me another message here. Oh, the key to happiness is love. And the ability to open a bottle. What the hell? The key to happiness is love and the ability to open a bottle. Maybe some of you are, you work, um... <laughs> with bottles maybe bartender it might be a situation um going on at your work oh whatever the situation is that's happening at your work um it will it will be resolved okay and something about a unique way of standing out you find a new opening with job security so for some of you if, you, if you're not working or you're just like, oh, what are you going to do for work? Maybe there's something here to do with um, 
maybe selling something with bottles, pouring drinks. It could be anything, right? Anything to do with bottles. I can't really think. Maybe filling prescription bottles. Um, hmm, something to do with bottles. I don't really know. I feel like I'm in a game show. What kind of things are attached to bottles? Okay. Oh, here's the Bitcoin. It's back again. Investment. Invest in your education. Make some big plans for the future. Take calculated risks, but save something to fall back on. Okay. Interesting. Anything else for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? Financial, financial stuff renewal. You need to take time to recharge your energy to get back on track. Challenges ahead require you to have faith and break through. Okay. We have windmills. All right. Let's see. One more for Virgo. And then we're going to get into the charms and all that. Qualify the reading. <clears throat> okay. Oh, look. Look at the picture. Pouring a beer. Something's going on with a restaurant or a bartending or something honest work it's okay to have a job that's not very glamorous get some experience to help you move up in the future success is a process not a quick fix all right Virgo I don't know what's going on with the alcohol but there's something going on here with alcohol I don't even know leave me a comment if you know what we're, what's going on if that's like resonating for you all right all right, here we have Leo. Here we have Virgo. Cancer, twice. All right, somebody could be on the cusp of Cancer, Leo, this person. Or or someone's on the cusp of Leo, Virgo. Or it's just a Cancer, Leo, or Virgo. All right, 1975, August 29th, September 8th, September 11th, September 9th, so, uh, September 19th. August 31st, let's see, oh, someone's between 50 and 55, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, right, 42, someone's 42, 1983, someone's 59, 61, 1972, these could be ages too, okay, you could be 59, you could be 61, you could be 72, um, we have 33, we have 1989, we have 47, September 3rd, September 17th, okay, I just heard the name Leah, Leah, L-E-A-H, um, so January, very significant month, um, January through April seems to have been a wake-up call for someone. So the first four months of the year, of this year, big wake-up call. All right, let's see. Did I say September 3rd? I think I did. Uh, somebody's having some corn right now, maybe corn on the cob, or likes the band corn. <laughs> okay. Or is a corn ball. Um, okay. I'm hearing Neil, N-E-I-L. Or someone's kneeling right now. Um, I'm picking up Fawn. Someone's name is Fawn. I'm also picking up um, Val or Valerie. Val. I'm picking up Frank, Franny, Francis. These could also be the names of your guardian angels too, right? They just said. Um... Let's see. Nick, Nicholas, Nicolette, Nicole. Um, Tay, the name Tay. Uh, someone's on TikTok or TikTok, you don't stop. Evan, I just heard Evan. Evans or Evan, E-V-A-N, Evan. Nina, you're just giving me Nina. Someone's last name is Fink, F, 
as in Frank, I-N-K, Fink. Um, okay. I'm seeing Rhode Island. They're showing me Rhode Island. And Colorado. And we're, I'm getting Virginia again, like yesterday. Uh, AV, AV. Nona. Oh, that could be somebody like Nana or Nona, like a grand grandmother. Oh. Um, somebody is near a fort, like like Fort Dix or some kind of military base, or plays Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite. Oh, um, so I'm um, getting an RN or a nurse or an LPN, so in the medical field. Uh, I'm seeing a kitten now. They're showing me a little kitten. Cute little kitty. Somebody has a kitty or just got a kitten. Okay. Is there anything else here? Aiden. Aiden. Oh my gosh. I was watching Sex in the City. I've been kind of watching it. Oh my gosh. I have such a crush on Aiden. I'm not going to say who the actor is, but if any of you guys have watched that, you know, it's really old, but, oh gosh, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Someone lives on Front Street. Front, Front Street. Front Street. I'm just hearing. Uh, someone drives a Kia, and it's so funny because I saw a meme, and it's so true. Every time I see a Kia, I always think it's those Nine Inch Nails. I'm just like... You tricked me. <laughs> Kia. Someone drives a Kia. And someone's in, um, uh, I'm picking up Hong Kong, or there's a connection to Hong Kong. Some kind of connection to Hong Kong. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. All right. Let's get into your charms. My spoon is missing. There we go. Okay. Oh, here's the whale tail back. The whale tail. Does somebody have a tail? Like their hair? Like a rat tail? Somebody wears a rat tail still. Holla. Party in the back. Okay. What the hell's this? Oh, it's a crab. Yeah, cancer energy. You got a crab here. Maybe you're... Oh, okay. They're just saying... Uh, Boiling crabs or having crabs for dinner? Not the STD. I hope that's not what that is. Crabs. Somebody's having crabs or likes uh, crab legs or eating crab legs. Yum. Oh my gosh, I could go for that right now. I'm so hungry. Um, definitely caught crabs from the sea. This could be a dolphin tail. No, is that, it could be a dolphin tail. Dolphin tail is significant to somebody or whales. There's something to do with the sea here. We also have Saturn. We also have a planet. Maybe we'll be able to see. You might notice some. You can see a planet. Maybe looking through a telescope, or you just look out and you looking at the night sky with someone. Looking at the planets. Oh my gosh, how romantic! Just sitting outside on a nice, cool summer night, counting the stars, talking about the universe, talking about all of the constellations and the different. I see that. I'm seeing two people sitting on some really old like outdoor beach chairs, having one of those, like having drinks or something. It could be friends, but it could be romantic and just looking up at the night sky and discussing aliens or UFOs or outer space or what else is out there, discussing the planets. It's a really exciting conversation. It's very nice. Um, maybe that's going to be part of your date. Yeah. And look at even this flower makes me feel like the stars. Yes, the flower. Um, now they're just telling me, they're saying perfume, like flo flower, flo flower, flower, flower perfume, or something called flowers. Oh wait, wasn't that an old? Per that was I just. They said sunflowers. I don't think people wear sunflowers anymore, but uh, sunflowers are showing up. There's a theme for this reading today, but also um, some kind of floral fragrance or perfume. Maybe you're wearing that now, or. 
there's just a connection to that somehow. We also have a shamrock, so there is an energy. We do have some plants here. Shamrock's in a lotus flower. Maybe you're Irish and you're really into like Zen type of things. There might be a connection to Ireland or Zen type of um, beliefs as well. Maybe there's a lotus flower or a shamrock tattoo somewhere or a, a, a trinket or something that is connected to you in a way. Definitely qualifies this reading for you. Um, also a symbol of good luck. And we saw that with the Wheel of Fortune. We have a good luck situation, scenario um, in your life, your romantic life happening. Yeah, so you know what? This was a really nice reading, I have to say. It wasn't harsh. It was just about embracing new love. And I feel like that's it. You know, like I always say, there's a lot of people listening. It's not always going to be for everybody. Don't be discouraged. I want you to, to know that if you, if for some reason you don't encounter this person, don't give up. Okay? Don't give up on love ever. And don't give up on yourself. All right, you guys. Thanks for being a part of the gang. Oh, real quick before you leave, I just want to see if we have any new members. I know. Um, okay. Deborah, thank you yesterday for gifting those memberships. I greatly appreciate that. I was in the chat yesterday. So I hope you saw that I did thank you. And for the super chats that you guys have sent. Um, yeah, so let me just give a shout out to all of the new members from yesterday. So Tiana Gutsmore, Andy Michelle Zior, the Brown Filipino, Earth Angel Empress, Illinois Gaming, Leisha B81, Damas, Dayfire, Cindy Canuel, Jadira Lopez, and then we had Joy Turner, Tom Smola, Moni76, Marvita Kazi. Thank you, you guys, for accepting the gifted memberships, for sending them. Thank you for your super chats. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you to all the mods as well. As I always say, mod alert. Give a shout out. Give a mod alert shout out to the mods here. Always being here, dedicated, and just awesome. You guys are so amazing. So I'll see you guys all back here tomorrow for um actually a uh, little notice let's see tomorrow night will be wednesday evening i might actually go live i'm not sure what time it probably will be earlier than the regular time that i go that i'm here at night okay so keep your notification bell ticked so that if i do go live i will schedule it and you'll be able to hopefully pop in it might be like two hours earlier than I usually do, but it is tentative. So if just the notification bell will let you know. Okay. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel and that you have that bell ticked so that if you really enjoy the channel and my readings and you want to get in on the readings, you, you can, we usually premiere live here, but I'm not, you know, they're pre-recorded. If I actually go live, I'll be able to interact with you. Okay, so that'll be tentative because I'm just going to have to look at my schedule. Otherwise, I will see you all back here tomorrow. Later.